Hi, my name is Vic Irello, local San Marcos photographer. I went to Parsons School of Design in New York City in the late 60s, early 70s. One of the things we had to do was we had to photograph our projects. So uh, uh, my mom and dad bought me a camera at the time from a friend. And that was my f beginning with photography. We had to learn work in the dark room, it was all in film. And then uh, my camera got stolen a bunch of years later and I stopped taking pictures. And then um, 30 years later, I needed a new way to make a living. So I started, uh, I hooked up with a professional photographer and learned how to be a pro. I went 30 years without cheating. Wow. It was pretty much 19. I lost a camera in 78. It was stolen out of my, out of the place I was living in. And then I, uh, I didn't pick up a camera again until 2008. Uh, let's see. Well, when I was, I started working with him. We were shooting weddings, events. He trained oh, me. He, he trained me how to okay. be a, a wedding event uh -huh. photographer. He, he also did a lot of family, he had a studio, so he has a studio, so he had, we did a, I assisted a lot with him at first, and then he got more comfortable with me and I started shooting more and more. And then <clears throat> I retired in 2011, and um, really enjoyed uh, traveling around California. California is an amazing place. I mean, mountains to seashore in the same day kind of thing. And uh, I started shooting a lot of landscapes mostly. Well, <clears throat> in all honesty, I try, to, I try to keep my hand off the saturation slider as much as possible. Because you look at things that are on the internet, and I sort of, um, people say, oh, your stuff is so beautiful. Well, here's what I do for perspective. On my uh, uh, computer, on the screen, I have uh, my stuff on my website. And right next to it, I have the best landscape photography in the world website. And I click back and forth. And if you really want a perspective of where you are in the world, you know, you do something like that and you know right away, oh, well, okay, that's pretty good, but wow, these are amazing. And I noticed that um, people are pretty heavy handed these days with the saturation slider. And I'm not a fan of it. I mean, all of this, except for that one, because that, uh, that was pretty dull, but um, they were out of the camera. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no question. Because uh, I, over the years, I've seen some of the best photography ever, ever shot by anybody. Some of the biggest DPs. I worked on The Fugitive and The Last of the Mohegans and The Peacemaker, and they had really brilliant DPs. So, my eye is my eye. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get it from anywhere. But you. You, you sort of. Uh, most of the time, when I look at other people's work, I say, "How did they light that?" I would give anything to know how how that was lit. And usually, it's very simple. But you know, you'd like to be able to take the artist and say, "How did you do that? How did you? Yes. How did you achieve that?" Vic Iarello Photography. And then dot com. the smug mug? Sm the dot smug mug dot com. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming out and talking to me. It was fun.